Hey everyone, I'm Zuzi with Cooking for the Clueless and I am so excited and so honored to be part of the New Green Grocer Cookbook. Pete, congratulations on a great book. Your father Joe was such a legend. He would definitely be very proud of you. So let's celebrate by making one delicious recipe from the book. So before we get to the recipe, I have to tell you, the first thing I did when I got the book was open the table of contents to see all the juicy things that were in there. And I noticed it is organized by season. So I don't mean seasonings, I mean season. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. That is brilliant. For people that are clueless, that are just learning how to cook, that is the best thing about the book already, okay? Sometimes we don't even know what's in season when, so thank you. And uh, let's go to summer. I actually chose one of the recipes that was brand new to me. Uh, we contributed some recipes to the cookbook, but I wanted to challenge myself and do something new and delicious. Let's go to summer. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is look at our delicious ingredients. So make sure you have them organized because that's gonna make a huge difference when you're making the recipe. Let's have a look. Okay, so the very first step is putting all your veggies with that butter into a pot and we're gonna saute them for 10 minutes, okay? So let's get our butter in. Delicious butter. That's already hot, so it's gonna start sauteing right away. Onions, celery, and carrots. Now, you wanna make sure this doesn't brown, okay? So this is the the only part that you you want to really stay here and take care of your veggies, okay? Spin them around, and what I do is I always, always, always set my timer. Okay? And that's really important if you're just starting to cook because most of the time we burn things. So set your timer and keep an eye on it. Okay. So the reason we've sauteed these veggies for about 10 minutes is so that they can get a little tender and release some of the flavor. So the next step is we're gonna add our broth, we're gonna salt and pepper to taste, and then we're gonna add that bouquet garnish. So let's do that right now. Okay. So here I've used chicken broth, but again, you can use vegetable broth if you'd like. And in the recipe, it calls for one and a half pints of broth. So I had to figure out what the conversion was between pints and cups, and it turns out it's exactly double. So one and a half pints is three cups. Okay, great. So salt and pepper to taste, and you know, you're just gonna add a little salt and pepper, and then we'll, we'll salt it and pepper it again at the end, depending on what you like. Okay, now, the bouquet garni. Okay, I had no idea what this was. You see this? There are all these herbs tied up in this little cheesecloth. It's really neat. I went to the fresh produce section and then I couldn't find it. So then finally I asked them one and they sent me over to the spice section. So bouquet carne has been around forever and people usually use them in soups to season your soup. So this is absolutely perfect for what we're doing. And the ingredients are celery seeds, thyme, bay leaf, parsley, and majorum. Who knew? I hope you learned something new today. Okay, so let's drop this in. And the next step is real easy. Just cover it and let it simmer for one hour. So this one over here, I've had for about an hour. Let's move this over. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And what's happened is all the vegetables are beautiful and tender and the spices have blended into the broth. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this soup. So I'm just gonna use this handy dandy strainer and I'm gonna put it into my glass bowl and I hope it works out. <laughs> okay, let's try it. You might wanna do this over your sink, but we'll try it right here. Now look how beautiful that broth is. Whoops. And you can save these veggies and mush them up or have them with a nice roasted chicken. That would be so good. Okay, so we're almost done with this delicious recipe. So now we're gonna take our flour and mix it in with our milk. We're gonna mix it in and then pour it into the soup. That's gonna thicken it up a little bit. And 
now we're going to let that come to a boil for two minutes. And then we're going to finish it off and plate it. Okay, so we've come to the end and we finally get to taste our delicious cream of carrot soup that we worked so hard on. And let's have a big taste. First, let's garnish it with some fresh chopped parsley. That looks so beautiful. That would make a beautiful first course of any meal. Mmm. Okay, I can taste that forever, but <laughs> it's delicious. I hope you try this recipe. It is on page 294, oh sorry, 296 of the New Green Grocer book. Congratulations again, Pete. I'm so excited for you and for everyone.